University of Mississippi in 1962, again, the Supreme Court in 54, it said that separate but equal was no longer valid doctrine. It, separate was inherently unequal. Yet still, still by 1962, there, there had been no black students at the University of Mississippi. In 1962, James Meredith enrolled in the University of Mississippi, and it wasn't simply that he could just go and attend school there. He needed federal marshals, you see on either side of him, to escort him to school because of the riots that were happening there within the city. Riots did happen. There were a couple people that were killed. Uh, Meredith was not one of those. He was protected. He was admitted and later did become the first black student to graduate from the university. But again, you can see 1954, Brown versus Board of Education. Here, eight years later, still the colleges are not fully integrated.